Hello Capricorn, it's my lady from Ladies Way Terry and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of, uh, sorry, <laughs> weekly love reading for the week of 10-30 through 11-6-2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on for the Capricorn? What's going on for the Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn for the week of 10, 30 through... 11 6 2017 Capricorn 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 e. so it seems like this week some of you guys may be possibly falling out of love or somebody might tell you that they don't love you or you might do this for somebody else okay all right so there's something going on with gifts being given I feel like I feel like somebody may be giving you gifts, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so it seems like um, this person giving you the gifts, they may be un unattractive or they are um, have very low self-esteem, okay? This could be the other way around, too. It's a general reading. Okay. It seems like whatever the situation is, it's a weight off of you. It's helping lift burdens. So I guess this person is helping you pay bills or just helping you just like being your friend, you know, just being there for you. Okay. Okay. So it seems like... Hmm... Okay, so giving gifts. Um, this is someone with low self-esteem. This is burdens being lifted. And this is freedom. So, it's crazy. Because it's starting to seem like, okay, somebody was giving you gifts, but they had low self-esteem. And they could have been giving you gifts because they had low self-esteem. And it seems like you might have broke free from this person giving you gifts. And it it, it it was less of a burden because I feel like the the emotional mindset that they were in were pulling you in there. And it was making you sad as well. So I feel like you left because this person just was too men emotionally uh down okay this could have happened to you as well okay so it seems like some secrets are getting ready to come out if they haven't already come out what are these secrets about for the for the moon <laughs> what are these secrets about for the capricorn i want to say everything else what are the secrets coming out for the sagittarius Jesus, okay, so you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. What is this? All right, so it's saying something that this person thought about you was wrong or you thought something about this person and it was wrong. But Capricorn. <laughs> All right, what's this secret for the Capricorn? What's this secret for the Capricorn? 10, 30, 3, 11, 6, 2017. Mm, I just heard no manipulators. Okay. All right, so it seems like Something about to come out about somebody friends being not really their friends. Okay, let's see. We need more clarification for this. What is this for the Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn. What is this secret about the friends for the Capricorn? Wow. Okay, so this is a... Uh, seems like it might be linked to the uh, Sagittarius reading because this... Uh, was one of theirs. So, uh, you'll have to watch that. 
because I don't remember exactly what's going on. But it seemed like somebody wasn't attracted to somebody. It seemed like this person may have not been attracted to you, but they were giving you gifts, or it could have been the other way around. You weren't attracted to them, but they were giving you, you were giving them gifts. It seems like somebody might have been giving the other person gifts to try to cheer them up. But it wasn't working. And it became more of a burden than help. You know, somebody just kept doing for somebody, doing for somebody, doing for somebody. And they thought it would help both ways, but it didn't help either way. It just became a burden. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is definitely related to the Sagittarius. Okay, so it seems like... The person with the low self-esteem was um, breaking the other person's boundary. Well, it was basically going through their stuff. They took their privacy away, you know? They took their privacy away because they wanted to know what they was doing. They was going through their stuff and all that good stuff. I don't know if it's good or bad, but all that stuff. But And I feel like this was part of the reason that they became unattracted. To you or you to them it's like first like you got this emotional uh baggage and then you start going through my stuff that's too much and it seems like somebody broke free and broke free from the baggage all right all right wow yeah somebody just couldn't take no more they couldn't they they didn't they didn't they didn't want to do it they couldn't do it anymore all right what's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. All right, this situation could have been happening at work or it could have led somebody to lose their job or something like that. 1030 through 11 6, 2017. 1030 through 11 6, 2013. I mean, 17, 2013. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What's going on? Hmm. So, seems like somebody had a bunch of choices to make and they finally made one. Seven. We got two sevens. Hmm. Okay, so we're just going to read all that. All right, so this is basically somebody is um, making a choice, but they're still not sure about the choice that they made. And it could be dealing with Aries Leo Sag, the, uh, possibly. And um, somebody picking up and leaving. Somebody picking up and leaving after this choice was made. So there's a bunch of choices going on and a bunch of indecision. And it's like somebody's not giving somebody like money anymore. Or somebody's about to get like some message in the mail about owing money, possibly. All right, let's go. We got the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups reversed. All right, this says, driving wheel represented things that are wealth and success. Your path is clear and you may accomplish great things. All right, so it's like, you made your choice, go do it. Hmm? Okay, so we got the Seven of Staffs reversed, and it says, a stress, confusion, indecision, facing indiscreet actions. So it's like you basically back and forth about what you want to do about the situation. I feel like you left the situation or no matter what, I feel like the situation is over because in the Sagittarius read, I don't know if this is as locked in to this as I feel it is, but they're done. They're done and they're moving on. But... I mean, it could be either way around, or you're done and you're moving on, but somebody's done and moving on, okay? So somebody made a choice, but they're still indecisive about what they want to do. All right, so we got the Ten of Staffs, Upright, and this says, You will 
succeed after struggle. A time of difficulty seems far too much, but you must continue. So it's like you feel weird after leaving this person, as we all do. And it's like uh, you thinking about going back. And that's probably what's creating this indecision. But it's just like keep going because ain't nothing going to change it. I don't know. The barrier has been broken. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay. So now we got the two of swords. And it says a choice between two things may occur. Look for people who offer friendship and mutual respect for guidance. Yes, basically look for somebody who isn't trying to manipulate you or um, uh, violate your personal space, you know. So it's just basically like move on. All right, so we got the Knight of Coins. And it says, uh, progress blocked uneasy movement and boredom. So I don't know why. First thing I saw was uh, social media. I feel like you might have seen something on there. And then you're like, no, that's mine, you know. But in reality, that's over. You don't want that. You don't want to see that. Maybe you overheard somebody saying stuff. But in reality, that's nothing that you want. But maybe you do. But that's all I got. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.